Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to be stuffing my sinking funds for the week of July the 10th. All right, so as usual, I have my budget over here on the left. I'm going to be stuffing my envelopes according to what I budgeted. Um, this is a two week budget, so I'll be splitting these amounts in half. I have my cash after running by the bank. And last, I have my envelopes. These came from Our Budget Life. Um, she has an Etsy shop. I will have her linked down below, as well as this dotted notebook that I got from The Clever Fox. All right, so let's go ahead and count the cash so you guys know how much I am stuffing this week. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So $60 for sinking funds is what I have budgeted. All right, I hope everybody is doing really well. Things here in the state of Virginia are about the same. Our COVID numbers have, you know, pretty much steadied. And um, of course, things are reopened. And I'm hoping that, fingers crossed, that the cases continue to decline and we won't have to shut down again. Um, all right, so let me know down below how you guys are doing and um, how your area is doing in particular. All right, let's start with the first envelope, which is gifts. All right, so gifts is going to get $5. And so my gifts category is primarily for um, birthdays. And I use this for my nieces, my nephews, and my children. So as of the last stuffing, I had $55. I'm going to add five, so that'll give me 60. And on this budget sheet, I just record the date that I'm stuffing, um, which is July 10th. I'll write that it is a deposit, adding five, and that gives me 60. I don't have any birthdays until November. I think that's the next one. All right, so here's five, 20, 40, 50, 55, and 60. It is super early in the morning. It's only about 6 a.m. I'm up early and I'm um, getting, well, I'm getting excited about vacation and wondering how I'm going to get videos out while I'm on vacation. So the cabin that we're staying at, I learned, does not have Wi-Fi. I don't know that I'm going to get cell phone signal, and they have a landline. So I'm a little worried. So next week, which would be the week of, I guess it's the 20th. That sounds right. So the week of the 20th, there may or may not be videos. It just depends. I'm going to have to get on YouTube and see if I can schedule them in advance. So like pre-film my videos and then queue them up on a particular date. I don't know if I can, uh, but I'm going to try because I want to be sure to get videos out for you guys. All right, so that's it for gifts. Uh, next category is fur babies. Now this sinking fund is for vet visits. And I got to notice that uh, Tink has... See, she is due for her shots in August, which is odd because I I don't know why I thought she was due later in the year. Maybe it's Chewy that's November. Um, so I'll be using the money in this envelope for her shots next month. Now, as of the last stuffing, I had um, $80. I'm going to be adding $5 to this envelope today, which will give me $85. Yeah, it's, fur babies are expensive, and I don't remember how much their shots were last year. I want to say they were a little over $100, so I may have to, I might have to go back for sure and look at last year's receipt to see how much her shots were, and then if I am short, then I'm going to have to include whatever the difference is in my regular monthly budget. All right, so $5 for fur babies. So that gives me 20, 40, 60, 80, and 85. 
luckily my babies have been healthy and they haven't needed to go to the vet for any illnesses, which is a good thing. All right, next is clothes. Um, again, I'm a single person and my children are grown. They don't live with me. They're in their 20s. So this is a category just for myself. As of the last stuffing on July 3rd, I had $10. I'm gonna be adding five to this envelope today, so that'll give me 15. I did go to Goodwill at the end of June um, and picked up a lot of workout gear, like shirts, sports bras, and workout pants. I had, um, I do wanna find at least two summer dresses for my vacation, so I had, called Goodwill just to make sure I knew what their hours are on the weekdays because it it was during the week and I, I wanted to stop by and there was a recording that said that they were temporarily closed because one of the um, staff people had tested positive for COVID. So they're closed for the next 48 hours while they disinfect, which is crazy. So I will be going back to Goodwill and I'll I'll be using the money in this uh, envelope because I, I definitely need to get a couple dresses for vacation. So 5, 10, and 15. I don't need, um, I don't know, it's not like I have anybody to impress on vacation. I'm going with my friend and her daughter and then her parents are also going. But I do want to be comfortable. I'm pretty sure it's going to be hot out. And I can always wear my workout gear because I think we'll probably do some hiking. But I just want something that's easy that I can just throw on uh, without a lot of effort. So that's clothes. Next is medical. This is actually for medical, dental, and vision. And let's see here. As of the last envelope stuffing, I had... $10. I'm going to be adding five, so that'll give me 15. I had to go to the eye doctor at the end of June, um, so that pretty much depleted the envelope. I do need to get new glasses. I mean, the glasses that I have now that I got last year are still fine. I can see, but um, I do think I'm going to get a separate pair of glasses for just computer work because I'm finding that with the bifocal, um, if you guys don't wear bifocals, you may not know this, but I have a lined bifocal. So the top of my glasses is for distance and then the bottom part is for close up and reading. And I find that when I'm on the computer, I'm tilting my head back quite a bit to be able to see the computer out of the bottom of the glasses. So I definitely think I'm gonna get just reading glasses uh, this year. The distance I think is still fine. So I, I don't think I'll replace what I have um, in terms of like the bifocal. Just get another pair of reading glasses for the computer. So anyway, I've got 15 in here now, so 10 and 15. Luckily I don't go to the doctor often. I rarely get sick and, um, and I don't take any prescription medication. So that that money in that envelope will last quite a while. All right, next is Christmas. And let's see here. As of the last envelope stuffing, Christmas had $240. I'm gonna be adding 20 today, so that'll give me 260. And I'm far away from my family, and so I will be giving Christmas gifts in cash or gift cards, which I can purchase from the store. So I won't be doing any online shopping uh, this year. And that makes it easy to, to keep this into cash. Um, I won't have to deposit the money again. All right, so I've got 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, and 60. And uh, it's accumulating quite nicely. Hard to believe we've got less than six months until Christmas. Okay, next is car tags. This is an envelope for car tags, uh, taxes, because in the state of Virginia, we pay personal property tax on our vehicles. 
emissions and inspection. So all of those things um, are used. Um, I use this envelope for all of those things. I can't talk this morning. It, it is still early. I may try to edit that out, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as of the ne uh, the last envelope stuffing, I had $50 in this envelope. I'm going to be adding five today, so that'll give me $55. I don't remember when taxes are due. I want to say in August, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Maybe October. All right, so $5 for our tags so that gives me 20 40 45 50 and 55 cars are expensive I really do feel very blessed to not have a car payment I'm glad that I took the time to save my money and purchase a car with cash because um, they're just so so expensive all right next is car maintenance. Um, as of the last envelope stuffing, I had $100 in this envelope. I'm going to be adding 10 today, so that'll give me 110 And this is just for major repairs because my cash envelopes um, that I keep in my wallet, I have one for gas and oil changes. So this is just for like tires or if I have any major repairs that need to be done. All right, so here's 10, there's my 100, so there's 110. So far, this car has been maintenance-free, which is really nice, so that is car maintenance. Um, and in case you didn't know, I have a 2014 Kia Soul that I bought earlier in the year, and I bought it for under $8,000. All right, last category is beauty. And beauty is used for haircuts, um, mainly color if I get it done. And let's see here. I haven't actually used any money since I started contributing in April. So as of the last stuffing, I have $85 in here. I'm going to be adding five this week, so that'll give me 90 I probably could use a haircut just to trim the ends, but... I'm going to hold out. <laughs> All right, so here's five. So that is 50, 70, 80, 85, and 90. And that is for beauty. Luckily, I don't use, um, I don't use a lot of beauty products. I use uh, Walmart, um, any, well, I mainly use um, makeup that I get at Walmart or any drugstore. I don't buy any high-end brands that, you know, are expensive, which is a good thing. And since we're in quarantine, I rarely do my hair. It stays on top of my head and I haven't been wearing makeup. So that is also a good thing. All right. That is everything, guys. Those are my sinking funds. This is for the week of July the 10th. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.